We will start in now. <laughs> um, okay, do I have a clicker maybe? Clicker? No, no clicker. Okay, I'll use. Yeah, I'll use the clicker. <laughs> okay, uh, for the introduction, uh, Ronnie just gave. I am working in Red Component, but I have uh, many experience in programming. I was um, programming in uh, Siemens DD uh, for six years, and I, I was there a senior programmer, senior developer. Uh, I have lead uh, teams, and I have experience in C Sharp more than PHP. <laughs> so I just recently started working in, in Joomla community. As Brian said, um, it's a good to open with a joke, but all jokes I know are creation ones, <laughs> and uh, they are they are not not translatable. So whenever I to told a joke, I was looked like okay, <laughs> pat on the back, and okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's funny, yeah. <laughs> so I will not start with a joke. Let's let's start with red core. What is a red core? Um, and what 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 it it is all about? This is the the topics I will go through. At the end, we will help uh, have questions. We already lost some time, but I hope there will be more time for questions. I will try to speed it up. So so if you have any questions, be free to ask any time or at the end, however you want. So. What is red core, and what what uh, how did we get to the red core? Okay, uh, red core uh, was badly needed when Joomla released uh, its uh, never-ending uh, upgrades from uh, 2.5 to uh, 3.0 to 3.1. Uh, ev from with every release, there was less and less backward co co backwards compatibility, and with that, uh, there w there the, the, the problems arrive because in a Red component there there are uh, hundreds of extensions and uh, including plugins, modules, complete components, and uh, the problem there was. Um, it's not. It's simply not working. From 3.1 to 3.2, uh, not all plugins break, but somewhere it it just breaks, and you we have to spend a lot of man hours to support from each version to each version. So, uh, what we did with Red Core, uh, we um, we fixed that. <laughs> How with uh, an abstraction layer. So. Uh, with each version, as it <coughs> changes, we we just add uh, backwards compatibility, and we just add uh, some really neat stuff in. So if something exists in Joomla 3.3 or 3.2, we can add it in Red Core, and it will be immediately uh, available in 2.5. I will uh, demonstrate that later, because uh, we are using um, Roberto's. J layouts in uh, 2.5 easily in in all our applications. It's not another framework. Red Core is actually a abstraction layer. <coughs> uh, it's not not a mass of files. It's not mass of code. It's just extension of Joomla uh, already developed nice cool code. So we are not. Uh, copying all the files, we are extending it. So, uh, what what's the benefit of this? We got, got uh, we we can easily um <coughs> we can easily um, bring into li like I said 3.5 something from 3.x, and uh, with this all our uh, applications 
that are developed from Red Core are backward compatibility. So, so uh, um, there's no feature loss. If somebody so something is kicked out, we still have it. It will not be lost. It will we will not have to re reinvent the wheel. It, it it's simply there. So if you're building an uh, extension f for 3.x, it will be able to to run on 2.5 if you are using Red Core and the other way around also. Yeah. Subtraction layer. Um, how many of you know what abstraction is? Can you raise? Oh, almost all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then it makes my job much easier. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, with abstraction layer, um, we get the benefits of just extending and overwriting existing functions. You know. So uh, you just in your uh, class you can um, overwrite the, the parent uh, class with your own solution. So uh, it works by default. It's uh, similar to other frameworks. So by default, it will do all the stuff by itself automatically. So in uh, Joomla 3.x, there's a very cool uh, classes for uh, con uh, controllers, modules. They are really great. And uh, we just brought that into 2.5. So it works automatically there also. So you do not have to uh, write unpublished uh, functions uh, for publishing, for deletion, for editing. It's already happening. So does Redcore work as a standalone extension? Yes. Um, so it's it can be installed as a standalone extension and work separately from your other extensions. So uh, recently we have added many uh, cool stuff like bootstrap uh, to, to, to Red Core. So you can use it uh, on any of your application using Red Core. You do not have to, to base your application on Red Core to use it. You just in plugin, you can you can just turn it on, uh, and it works on Joomla 2.5. It works on Joomla 3.x. Um, the vision of uh, Red Core was started as a uh, started as a okay. We must support both Joomla 2.5 and 3.0. That was the start, yeah, okay. And with 3.1, there was all kinds of new stuff. Okay, we have to support that too. But um, uh, from each version, there was lots of lots of things that were added and were very cool and we wanted to use in, in 2.5, okay? So why, why not put it in red core and use it in 2.5, you know? And uh, th this, is, this, this was the main vision of red core. Uh, so it was, it was backward compatibility with all our extensions easily. So it's, it's, it's really easy to use it. And, and I will show you later on demo how, how, how we use it and how, how we uh, can work with it. So uh, as I said, there is Joomla multi-version support. There's an example how we use some of the obsolete, there, there was in bug, bug and uh, squad fun channel, I think on Skype, discussion about J Dispatcher on 2.5 and it's not working in, in, in 2. Point, uh, it, it's not working in 2.5 because the person is using G, G event dispatcher that he added because it was deprecated, you know? And in uh, Joomla 2.5, it just breaks. And uh, this is this is just one of the examples that we add um, to, to to Red Core to, to support both versions. So we just detect the version and, and use use the correct one. This is this is really simple solution, but there was there is much much uh, 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 little gems like this in all the Red Core. Give me a short second because I have to change batteries. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I know you're here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, GA layouts uh, was originally developed in Red Core, so it came out of this. So Red Core was base for GA layouts because we needed some some solution like that. So uh, and and it's not the only one. We have many many great stuff in there, and we are still adding it. So uh, layouts are really great. Um, Roberto did a brilliant job in that and and we are very proud of him <laughs> and uh, I hope that many other solutions that we are uh, putting in will get also into into the Joomla core because it it works it, it, it's great and I hope it will it will get added uh, I will now talk a little about what does it do so uh <coughs> one of the the main stuff that that we usually use on on all of our uh, extensions is installer so uh, it's one package deal so you, you you got the option to to include modules plugins templates uh, it will install them all within the the the, the native uh, XML file that is formatted correctly uh, in the doc documentation that we have on wiki uh, uh, github wiki <laughs> you can see how it is used and how it can be formatted but uh, you can you can uh, run custom tasks with it you can you can set a dependency so it not it does not get installed if something is missing so it will not install yeah everything is okay and then just breaks you don't know why but I don't know, multibyte string is not installed or something. Library is missing and you don't know why. This will check for it and tell you that it's missing. Uh, I will talk more about this. This is something also new that we added and I am personally <laughs> very proud of it. So I will talk uh, much more about this. Um, Uh, libraries that we include in Red Core are used in most of our Red Component extensions. So, so this, these are just a few. We are trying to uh, keep low volume of uh, libraries that are in. They are not all always loaded. They are loaded if you need them. So if you if you uh, insert them, they will get loaded. But they are not always pre present. <coughs> But uh, they are there, they're always the latest versions, they are minified. So they're very fast and they, they work. <laughs> we are using Font, font of Awesome. It's really great and um, there's a very cool and uh, large variety uh, of icons that you can select. And it's, it's very easy to use in your application. Just, just like in Joomla, just add. Uh, it's very small, but just add in the eye. Uh, just add class icon camera, for example, and it will be uh, added to your menu item or, or something. Okay, I will now talk more about translations. So, what we had recently was a problem in um, languages. Um, we needed to, to develop a way to present a large amount of translations of the, of the original content. So we had, uh, I'm talk talking about tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of rows of data that are products, or product items, and uh, they all needed to be translated in seven languages. So that, that's really a uh, large amount of data that, that, is, uh, that is needed to be added into Joomla. So how, 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 how should we uh, solve that? We had a big, discu big discussion and the first obvious solution was native Joomla, uh, 
Joomla translations. So uh, we were discussing about it and I pointed out <laughs> that if we want to, to show our clients how to use it, it's manual of 60 pages PDF. I can share it with you. It's how to easily set it up <laughs> with, with all the menus and the languages and uh, the, the content uh, that you have to set it up just, just to be able to have a, a multilingual site. So yeah, it exists. It, is it easy? No, it's really hard to set it up. And yeah, it's not a real solution, real solution for, for, for our problem. <coughs> so uh, when we try, we tried it out. We, we all know how to work it with it. So what we did, uh, create a few items, okay? We needed to duplicate everything. And I, I'm not talking just about everything. There, there, there's uh, a big unused data, I don't know, for uh, uh, modified by, modified date, uh, created by, I don't know. There's a lot of fields when you are using Joomla native translation system that are just duplicated just to be there, you know? And it's, it's really a big chunk of data for the hundreds of thousands of rows and the, the large amount of columns that d does not need to be translated. So it, it, it's not usable for that, that case scenario. It's very hard to maintain. So if you are creating menu items, if you're creating modules, if you're creating uh, uh, the, the, the associations between them, it's hard to maintain. If you have uh, 10 articles, 10, <coughs> menu, 10 menu items, 10 modules, and you add a new menu item, you have to edit every module, you have to relink it, you have to select it. It's, it's hard to explain to customer that he has to spend uh, uh, another hour to do something simply like add a new link, you know? I, I you have to edit uh, 15 modules, but yeah, it's, it's the way how we did it. So it's, it's slow. It's, I it's, not, it's not that easy to work with. Uh, and soon it will just be a big bunch of data and uh, you, you need to delete something, you have to edit this, you have to, that no, it's not, not really usable in, in, in big environments. Even on small ones, it's not, not that easy. Okay, what, what's the next solution? Is the third party extensions. So for third party extensions, I'm talking about uh, Junfish and Falang. You know, you prob can, can I see the hands, how many of you know what that is? How many did you use it? Yeah, yeah, almost everybody, because everybody is using multilingual sites. And uh, from uh, Joomla 2.5, it was a great solution. Uh, Joomla 3.0 introduced it, uh, but th they did not think it all the way through, in my opinion. So third party extensions were still better than the native Joomla translation system that, in my opinion. Is, is it easy to set up? Yes. Really, you just install it and it works. You have an editor, you can use it, and there you go, you have your translation. You don't have to duplicate, you don't have to uh, uh, separately uh, uh, edit every module to, to, to translate it into another language. You just plug and play. But <laughs> when we saw how, how they uh, handled their, their translation, it's all in the one table. So Junefish and Falang and every other translation system that we saw, th they're, they're using the same system of putting everything into one table. And I'm not talking about um, articles or categories. Uh, they're all, all into one table. So, okay, I, t I tested it out. Okay, it is in one table. Yes, okay, one table to rule them all. Okay, yeah, okay, but for every translation column, so for the name, for the description, for any field, they are inserting in one table row. So in that one table, there's a millions of rows that that's, that's just growing larger. So with each 
menu item that we need to translate for three fields, we are adding three rows in this table. And it's just it just explodes after after <laughs> after after some amount of time. I didn't even want to write the slow point, but it's really really slow on on big big uh, big sites. So what we did, we brainstorm a lot, <laughs> and we come up with our own solutions. Uh, it's just like J layouts. We are inv inventing some new stuff. Its translation system is not usable for us. We need some, some something better. So what we did, we added translation system inside of um, inside of Red Core. What it does, it installs content elements into into Joomla. Uh, using the same principle as Joomfish or Falang. So if you have extension uh, that you have uh, translated for Joomfish or Falang, it will be usable in Red Core. So it's reusable and uh, I don't know if you tried it, but they're not compatible with each other. You cannot load for Joomfish a uh, Falang uh, XML file because it will not work. But in here you can load them both and it will work. So uh, what we needed to do, we had multiple primary keys. None of the third party extensions supported it. We needed it, we added it. Uh, we are adding more than one table. So every table has its own shadow table. So um, we are basically creating tables for each content element. So it's not in one big table, it's spread out to, to uh, many tables, many tables. Uh, what you're trying to translate is one table. So if you're try trying to translate articles, it's one table for articles. It's easier to, to maintain, it's, it's um, easier to, to read and change later if you have some third party extensions, you can just use the data from that table. Uh, complex queries with expressions, uh, and I'm talking about almost all use cases that I could pull out from <laughs> my SQL uh, documentation. So it works them all. So you can union use union. You can use uh, subqueries in subqueries. It will parse them all. So this parser <coughs> is basically limitless. It goes. Uh, for any amount of depth to, to get your tr translations. So um, in third party, you cannot use this. Uh, you cannot use subqueries. You cannot use most of the features that, uh, that I will talk about here. I'm just talking about benefits from using Red Core to third party and native Joomla right now. <coughs> Uh, we are not replacing J database. We are just extending it. Like everything we do in Red Core, we are not copy pasting it. No, we are extending it. So we are still using the, the original J database, but we inserted some of our own functions to do the translation. So it seems to, to the user uh, how it's happening. It, it just appears <laughs> translated, and uh, he, he doesn't have to write any single amount of code, it's just translated. Uh, later on, I will show you how it gets generated and um, how it is used. Um, <coughs> yeah. Okay, okay, I will not, I will just point out here, you can read it. Faster. <laughs> Um, I will just few of the the, the, the triggers uh, are used um, to to eliminate the orphans. So um, when you delete original, you do not want to use I don't know about us anymore. You delete that menu item. You do not have to edit every language and delete about us blah blah blah. You just delete one 
with red core, and it deletes all translations. So with trigger, it just uh, runs through through origin uh, translation table and deletes all orphans that will be left. So it's not not uh, dead. Uh, it's not a dead keys in there. It will be clean and and, and usable after any amount of time. Uh, Yeah, you can define if you do not want some translation to be on some page. You just uh, define it in, in content element file. Okay, red core, how to get it? It's free. Like uh, almost all uh, red core, uh, red component extensions, um, they are free. Uh, and red core is also free. You can get it here in this uh, URL. And um, you can add to it. Uh, it's it uh, uh, for now. It got 21 contributors, and I hope there will be much more, because uh, we are planning to add very cool stuff in there in the near future. And I hope some of you will join us here, and uh, we could we could organize the teams that could work on, on some projects that we could in integrate into, into the red core. I just wanted to show you a little demo. Uh, so this is going to be translated and it's uh, run in 0011 second. This is the original table and the original query. And when I parse it with our parser, it's zero, 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 0009, so it's faster. I, and it's got the translated column here. In creation, you probably <laughs> don't understand it, like my jokes. But yeah, it's, it's, the, it's translated. <laughs> uh, OK, I will uh, now, um, before the questions, I can show you a little red core. How we are using it in our <coughs> extensions, and uh, what does it? How does it look like? Okay. Exactly. Also, part of why we work on translation is that we have a client that has between 250,000 different products in seven languages. But with products, the, the stock amount is the same. But it's not only translation, it's also size translation in multi currency and stuff like that. So it's more complex. So in the other model, if you were just replicating everything seven times, you would have seven different stock rules. Yeah, uh, and uh, I want to add, uh, you can use it on any site that it's not using r um, red core. So you don't, your extension does not have to use red core to be using this. You just install red core and it's there. Uh, you have uh, an editor, I will show it now, uh, and you can just use these functions. So um, same as bootstrap, you can use it without using the red core. You just you just enable it and and it works. Uh, I was just about to, to show in Joomla 2.5 uh, the the Bootstrap uh, options in administrations before. <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, a nice synchronization. <laughs> yeah, um, this project it's called Redesign. I, uh, it's developed by uh, my uh, dear colleague Bojan Nishevich, and um, he used Red Core. 
to, uh, to, to develop it. Uh, uh, as you can see, this design, it doesn't look like 2.5 design. It's not, it's not, it doesn't look at all. It looks like 3.x because we are using the same uh, layouts. So uh, uh, for every, every other Joomla uh, uh, version that will come up, uh, uh, the, the design will not break. You will have uh, the, same, uh, uh, the same design for any Joomla. So it will not shift there, it will not static up. Uh, yeah? But can I, in 2.5, still use it in a way that it looks like 2.5 instead of my client that uses it? Of course, yeah. You can, you can easily use it. It, it. it can be turned off very easily. Okay? So just to show you this, uh, this is a standard progress bar uh, used in Bootstrap that we are using on a 2.5 Joomla. So uh, all the Bootstrap functions, all the jQuery functions, they're they are here. You can just use them. You, you don't have to worry about them. If they are loaded, if they are uh, they have conflicts with Moot tools, we, we handle that for you. So you just have to design an application like you are designing for 3.5 or uh, 3 <laughs> 3.x and it will work on every instance of Joomla that's that's the point of our red core so you don't have to worry about any uh, any of the st that stuff if the libraries will get loaded no uh, if uh, some functions will get obsolete we will make uh, we'll make, uh, yeah, here is, uh, that's one of the examples that I wanted to show you. Uh, um, as Ronnie was saying, I was just about to, to show you the red core, how it looks when you run it. So this is 3.3 uh, version. Okay, uh, I have a list of uh, extensions that are installed currently on uh, this uh, on this uh, Joomla site. So I have Retro B2B installed here. It shows me what versions. I can co go, go to configuration on or I can go to translation for this extension. And it lists all the, the extensions that are dependable on Red Core. Uh, what is great about this? Because um, uh, in Red Core, uh, you have uh, an option to set in your extension that you are using Red Core. Okay? So uh, if somebody tries to uninstall Red Core and your application is using it, it will uh, be forbidden. So you cannot install uninstall Red Core if some of the applications are, sh are still using it. Here is the translation system that you got with your, with your, um, uh, with your uh, default Red Core installation. Okay, here are the content elements from the Retro B2B also. Um, that are translatable. So here are the content elements that you can uh, immediately translate, but you can select here if you want some, for example, if you want to, um, <coughs> if you want to edit uh, content elements of articles. So what you, you what you can do, you can update if you have some changes on your content elements. So after a while, you decided, okay, I want to translate descriptions uh, as well. So you just update the, the, the translation <coughs> XML file, and you update here your, your table. It will automatically generate a new field, and uh, there you go. You, you can translate them. It's, it's easy as that. Uh, you can uninstall. You can completely dump your data. When you can just delete the file altogether, uh, what's what's good about this is Red Core enables enables you to install all translation files with your application. So if you, uh, as I uh, uh, showed uh, in installer, 
you can just point it out, okay, my translations are in this folder, and the installer will automatically install them for you. Let's just, uh, I'll just translate, I don't know, in Croatian, of course. <laughs> I'll translate, I don't know, this is a very low resolution. Very low resolution, so it's not, maybe I should reload everything, but it's not important. So here, you can see uh, how it looks like, the, the standard edit uh, form of one translation. I have added many fields, even uh, uh, when to start to publish some, con uh, some article, so you can, in, uh, in creation, uh, I will set it up to not show until 4th of July, I don't know, <laughs> this, this article. And uh, for other languages, I can uh, set, uh, set some different date that I want to, to, to show. Uh, all parameters are, are also loaded. So you can, in some language, you don't have to show intro text. You can just use, you, you can just hide it. Or you want to force to show it, yeah, you can use. All options are, uh, uh, are here and you can just overwrite the, the default ones. Uh, uh, I have tried to, to make it look as much as possible as the, the, the third party extensions that uh, uh, users are accustomed to. So uh, it's very similar to the, to the logic of the um, uh, Falang and Joomfish because People are used to it. it. You don't have to have another learning curve just to use this. Okay, I, I have used Joomfish before. I can use Redcore. Yeah, well, great. Uh, Frederick, yeah. Could you make it short and fast and interesting? Yeah, yeah. Do we have time? I. Yeah, <laughs> do it, <so> <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, tip, 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 tip. Okay. Uh, so, okay. This is Redshow B2B. Uh, this is front end. So uh, I have showed you a back end on, of on 2.5, and this is 3.3 uh, uh, fr front end, where uh, we are still using uh, the bootstrap. We are still using everything. So this is on English. And as you can see, everything is. It's easier for me like this, yeah. So, uh, by changing the, 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 uh, I don't, no. Changing the uh, URL or clicking on Danish um, language icon, you can just simply uh, translate everything uh, on, on Danish because here are, great amount, it's a mass of data, and um, it's parsed uh, through MySQL with very little um, downtime. So it's, it's very, very similar in speed when using native, uh, native at, um, uh, query and using R translation parsed query, because uh, it's, it's uh, we have used many methods in MySQL that optimizes the, the uh, SQLs that are parsed through. So uh, if you are using a star, it will replace the columns in it, uh, it will speed it up. And there's just small, small gems that we are using it and it, it works really well. So we you, as you Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's uh, there's so many stuff in there that I, I could talk for more than an hour. I could talk all day uh, just to show you uh, the, the some of our key features, like Ronnie just said uh, about the browser. Uh, it it's. It's there. You can you can watch it on GitHub. You can uh, see how it works uh, on our uh, f uh, extensions that are free. You can just download them and uh, see, uh, test it out for yourself. And um, yeah, uh, do you have any questions? I think I'm out of time. <laughs> no questions. No questions.